Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Cressy Duke mask. So this is a full face snorkel mask. Now obviously there is quite a lot of controversy over full face snorkel masks, but you can read more about that on one of our blogs and that's just been uh, sort of pinned up there. Um, so yeah, so this is a modern uh, full face snorkel mask, uh, which is nice and comfortable and, uh, and very, very practical. Uh, but first, let's take a close look. Okay, so now it's time for the 60 second reviews. Let's get 60 seconds on the clock. Okay, so this is the Cressy Duke mask. So this is a full face snorkel mask that you can wear while snorkeling and it basically keeps all of the uh, sort of water away from your face, but it has a few benefits over a uh, traditional sort of mask and snorkel separate setup. So the first one is fog free. So basically whenever you breathe in, it's bringing in like fresh air over the lens. So it's never gonna fog up, uh, but basically if it does, it just automatically clears itself. What's particularly nice about this mask is that it seals very effectively over your nose. So every time you exhale, that exhaled gas doesn't come back up. It goes straight down. It either comes out through this bottom valve or it comes all the way out the side. So you always have a, a completely separate inhale and exhale path. If you do get any water inside the mask at all, then it just comes out of the purge valve at the bottom. Okay, so now let's move on to a more in-depth review. Okay, so this is how your Cressy Duke mask is going to come through your door. Um, so it comes in its own neat little bag and it's kind of zippered at the top. Uh, white is going to get really grubby really quickly, to be brutally honest, um, but it looks quite snazzy. Uh, we've got zippered opening at the top and then um, it comes in two separate parts. So you have the separate snorkel, uh, which I'll look at a little bit closer in a second, and then we have the actual mask itself. Also inside the uh, the bag, you get a book of words, um, yeah, all the usual stuff that you get with um, things nowadays. You also get a couple spare valves. So you get an O-ring, um, which is gonna be, I imagine, for uh, sort of around that um, sort of snorkel, because that you, uh, you might need to change over time. And uh, then you get a mushroom valve. So this is a one-way uh, sort of silicone valve, and that goes uh, just sort of in here, basically. Um, but if you need to replace it and, uh, and you can't figure it out, just take it to a dive center and they should be able to help you out with it. So, um, so the mask itself, it comes in two separate pieces just so it stores down uh, sort of really easily, but it connects just as fast and that's it, you're ready to go diving. To take it off again, you've got this little um, tab here, so push that into the mask, that sort of lifts it up and then you kind of wiggle it off and then eventually it comes off. So when it's in position, as you see, it's offset, which is quite nice. Um, most of them nowadays are just sort of down the center, but because it's offset, it's, um, it sort of improves the airflow. And um, the airflow basically starts up at the top of the snorkel. And this sort of big bulbous sort of section here is a really comprehensive splash guard. So it means that any waves or anything, they're just gonna splash away from the opening. The water really has to do some to physically get up into that tube. And if you ever go under, the waves there's a little float inside of this which as you go under it lifts up a plug and basically blocks the top of the snorkel and, uh, and that stops any water from filling up that tube as you swim under the water it does have one downside if you look up towards the sky uh, it is going to uh, sort of block itself so um, just remember to try and keep looking down and uh, if you're ever on the surface and you can't get any air coming in just kind of look down and that should release that mechanism as the air comes in, it gets passed over the um, the lens of the mask itself. Now this is a polymer lens, so you don't need to um, use any kind of preparation treatment on it um, because you can scratch it quite easily. And uh, you basically don't need to use any kind of defog because even if it does fog up, as you inhale, it's just bringing fresh air over the top of it and it's defogging itself. You have on the inside a separate seal. So you've got one big seal, which I'll show you in a second, that seals all the way around your face. You have a second one that just goes over your nose and mouth and that separates those two sections so that you're breathing in fresh air, but when you exhale all that dirty air, it either gets pushed out to the bottom out of this bottom valve, which I'll get back to later, or it comes up the side of the mask and straight out of these snorkels. So that way you always have fresh air coming in and dirty air going straight out. 
Now I mentioned it earlier, this, uh, this bottom valve, there's a one-way purge valve just in the bottom. So that way if any water does make its way into the mask, it's gonna go to the lowest point, which is gonna be this purge valve. And whenever you exhale, it's just gonna push that water out of the bottom. So if you don't like any water around your face, this is perfect. It's gonna keep it uh, sort of well away from your nose and mouth. Now what they do boast is a, uh, a really wide viewing area, which this does have compared to a lot of other uh, full face snorkel masks because we've got this big old side window so you can see out the front really easily and then you can see it around the side. You don't have the same on this side because the skirt uh, sort of continues around but still you've got a wide field of vision. Now I've tried this on, um, it's a little trickier to uh, physically get it on and um, but Getting it off is uh, is very, very easy compared to, uh, to other masks. But once it's on, it's very, very comfortable and, um, and it does feel very natural to breathe. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of resistance uh, sort of whilst you're breathing in or breathing out. So turning it around, uh, the straps itself, so they are sort of elasticated bungee kind of webbing straps. Very, very easy to, um, to get it off. Getting it on is a little bit tricky, but uh, so once you've got it down, it's, uh, it is quite easy. You can adjust it to make it tighter uh, and then just kind of loosen it off if you so wish. And then on the inside, I can show you all of these uh, sort of ceiling areas. So we've got a big, big ceiling skirt all around the mask. So this is sealing it, keeping the water out and keeping the air in. And then on the inside, we have this second skirt and this is sealing just over your nose. And this is preventing that dirty air from contaminating the fresh air as it's coming in. Um, so all in all, yeah, it is a, uh, a good uh, sort of snorkeling mask. It's, um, if you're looking to dive down deep, then I'd probably lean uh, sort of more towards the traditional because this is a very big airspace all over the top of your face. So that's gonna be very buoyant. Um, but if you're uh, sort of new to snorkeling, you don't like uh, sort of seawater in and around your nose and mouth, then this is definitely worth taking a look at. Okay, so who is the Cressy Duke for? So this is really designed for beginner snorkelers. If you've never been in the water before, or if you have and you didn't like the uh, sort of water around your nose and mouth, then this is uh, the kind of direction that I'd be pointing you towards. If you're a bit more advanced and you want to be diving under the water, just sort of snorkeling, um, then I'd probably steer more towards the traditional setup of a separate mask and snorkel. But yeah, if you don't like any water around your nose and mouth, then this is definitely worth considering because the main point of this is that it keeps all the water away from your entire face. If any gets in, it gets straight, uh, sort of put straight out of the bottom. That defogging technology is a, a real big selling point for me because you never have to worry about preparing your mask, defogging it or spitting in it, doing whatever it is to prevent it from fogging up. This one just does it automatically and it is very comfortable sort of once it's on. Um, so really it's designed for beginner stalkers, people that don't like water around your, uh, around your face, uh, but for anyone a bit more advanced, then I'll probably go down the more traditional mask and snorkel route. And that's the Cressy Duke mask. Now, if you yourself make any dive equipment that you want us to review, uh, then you can just post us a sample down to the uh, the address listed in the description below. Or if you're a scuba diver and you've seen a piece of equipment that we haven't done, uh, then just ask the manufacturer and just say, hey, can you send a sample over to the guys over at Simply Scuba for a video? And, uh, and yeah, we'll take a look at it and we'll do one of these videos for it. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.